Tonight's video is looking at identifying variables and constants. So these are important parts of designing an experiment that make a difference in how successful your experiment is. So you would do this after you've identified the problem and I didn't come up with a hypothesis. So this kind of goes with step four, which is designing the experiment. So the first step to planning the experiment experiment is to identify the variables you'll be testing. So you guys have heard the term variable in math class before, right? Which I know, right? Variable comes from the word vary, which means to change, right? So a variable in science is a factor or condition in the environment that you test in an experiment. So it is a factor or condition that can be tested in an experiment. All right? And most importantly, it can change. So we'll kind of see some examples that it can have more than one value, just like when you have 2x plus 3 in equals 7 in science class, right? x could be a couple different values, right? 2x plus 3, x could be 4, x could be 6, x could be 12, x could be anything. And so a variable has more than one possible explanation. And in when we do an experiment, we only test one variable at a time. And we have three types of variables that we're going to test today. We have an independent variable, we have a dependent variable, and we have these things called constants. And we're going to talk about each in order. So the first thing in an experiment is this thing called the independent variable. An independent variable is the variable or the factor that the scientist changes in an experiment. All right? And the way I remember it, it's the part of the experiment that I am testing. Right? Independent starts with an I, and it is the part of the experiment that I am testing. Right? And we can usually identify the independent variable in the if statement, usually in the if part of our hypothesis. Okay? We'll talk about some examples in a second, and I'll come back to this slide when we do that example, and this will make that a little bit more clear. Our dependent variable is our second type of variable. All right. And this variable is what we think will be affected by the independent variable. So this is a variable affected by a change in the independent variable. Right? And this is what is measured or observed in the experiment. So to identify the independent variable or the dependent variable, rather, you can think about what are we measuring? What are we observing in this experiment? And it's usually identified in our then part of a hypothesis. And our last thing we're going to talk about are constants. A constant is something that could be a variable or could affect our results, but that we but we keep these the same during any experiment. So these are um, possible variables that could affect our results. So we keep them the same. Let's say I wanted to test if um, sunlight made a difference in how tall plants grew, right? My independent variable, the part that I am testing, would be how much sunlight the plants get. So things that I would want to keep constant would be stuff that might also affect the plant growth, like water. I'd want to make sure all of my plants get the same amount of water. Right? If one got a lot of sunlight and a lot of water, one got a little sunlight and no water, I don't know if it was the sunlight 
or the water that made a difference. And so we keep these other variables constant so that they don't affect our results. All right, the control is our last thing. All right. And the control is the part of the experiment where you don't change the independent variable. You can think of this as the normal situation. So in my example about growing plants, the control plant would be the plant that gets sunlight, right? Plants normally get sunlight. So an experimental plant might be a plant that gets no sunlight. And I think it's important to add here that not every experiment has a control. Sometimes you have two experimental things that you are comparing against each other. You don't have a normal situation to compare to. We'll just compare two different tests. So let's look at an example. Let's use our information over here to figure this out. So if students eat breakfast every day, then they will earn better grades, right? This is a hypothesis, right? If students eat breakfast every day, then they will earn better grades. So what would our independent variable in this experiment be? We're gonna to look to the if statement, if students eat breakfast every day. So if I do an experiment, what am I gonna be changing in my experiment from one group of students to the next, right? Well, to do this experiment, I need some students to eat breakfast and I would need some students to not eat breakfast. So my independent variable would be whether or not the students get breakfast, right? That's what's different between my two test groups. My dependent variable, what is being measured? What am I gonna measure in this experiment, right? I'm gonna to look to my then statement, then they will earn better grades, and that's my dependent variable, my grades. That's what I'm measuring in this experiment. Let's look at one more example. If you dissolve sugar in cold and warm water, then the sugar will dissolve fastest in cold water. All right, so let's look to my, for my independent variable, I'm gonna to look to the if part of my hypothesis and figure out what am I testing as a scientist. All right, I'm putting sugar in cold and warm water. So what, are, what is different here that I have changed? I've changed the temperature of the water. That's what I have made different. The dependent variable, right? What are we going to measure or observe? The sugar will dissolve fastest in cold water. That word fastest clues me in that I'm measuring the time to dissolve. All right. So we will be doing a lot of practice with this in class and looking at a lot of different situations. Please write a summary on the bottom of your notes. If you have any questions, this is a kind of a tricky topic. So definitely write those on your notes as well and we can go over them in class tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in class.